everyone doing another video sort of chronicling my transition, my career transition and what it's like to be a new entrepreneur. Uh, I tried a little something different with the hair, so don't mind me. And that is something that working from home affords. I can try new things. I'm also doing like this elimination diet because I'm checking and seeing how it, uh, my skin reacts to it. So I'm also not wearing any makeup. I can only do like eyes and a lip, so I might look a little interesting but i'm trying i'm trying a thing okay so uh just so you know off the bat but feel free to comment on all of that as well i welcome your questions and your insights so please put that in the comment section what i'm doing for you today is uh highlighting the pros and cons of working from home as you know i've been doing this for um about five months now working from home and it's been really rewarding in some regards but also a little bit challenging as well so if this is something that you've been considering setting up a home office i want to lay down the goods let you know what to expect as always please subscribe to my channel if you like this you'll get my videos directly to your inbox every time I upload something and again like it if you like it all right here we go pros I get to look like this while talking on the phone and sending emails and nobody cares That's right, you get to work on your terms. You can be comfortable and sometimes I walk the dog in my pajamas and it's fine. So I really like this idea of being comfortable and having your own space to do what you like. And also I'm saving money because I don't have to, to think about purchasing a work wardrobe because I'm not leaving the house as much. So that's another pro to working at home. Con. You do get things done because you get to sort of create your own workflow. However, sometimes I spend time doing this instead of actually working. need more self-discipline and if you're not somebody who can self-motivate this might not be the thing for you because it's so easy for you to kind of get slack so to speak for lack of a better word in terms of the structure of your day because you have so much flexibility but in some regards it's easier for you to control your distractions so for example if you're at work and somebody just randomly comes up to your desk for example um, those are some of the things that you don't have to deal with at home but there are definitely some distractions like TV that uh, I have been struggling with a little bit <laughs> pro you save time and money on the commute alone, I don't have to, well, me, I don't have a car, so I always took Ubers, major, major expense for me, and taxis, and lots of um, subway, TTC, and so forth. So you're saving money on the commute. You're also saving time, because you literally, for me, I'm rolling out of bed, right to my desk, I'm getting to work, and you also reduce your stress levels as well, because this is your, your haven, this is your serenity. You can control your settings and reduce your exposure to stress levels essentially so that's another big big pro for me con i do this a lot i am filming out of my home and you know sometimes it can get noisy and sometimes remy my dog can get a little chatty at the worst times yes thank you so so much for getting back to me you don't know how you don't know how much this call means to me it's so important and i um Yes, yes. Oh, sorry about that. That's, oh, I think that's just the neighbor's dog. Oh, I think that was the neighbor's dog. Oh my. So again, it's all about being able to roll with the punches and anticipate that sometimes these household noises may occur. Yes, there may be a little renovation going on. Yes, your dog might bark. Yes, you may get an unexpected package like I just did and interrupt your flow a little bit. But again, something you need to keep in mind if you're gonna be working from home. Pro, I am throwing down in the kitchen. Because I'm working from home, it's easier for me to you know, take some time to plan and to prepare healthy, delicious meals. And so I find that I have 
you know, opened up a, a, a whole new wealth of, of knowledge and understanding when it comes to cooking because I can schedule my day the way I want to schedule it. If I want to take my lunch at a certain time, I know that I'm going to have more time to prepare something that is beneficial, that's healthy. And so I've been really enjoying that option to cook and have the time to do it properly. Con. The problem is though, the work never ends and it is harder for you to shut down. And so my hubby often hears this. Oh, 10 more minutes, okay? 10 more minutes. Almost done. 10 more minutes, okay? Just 10, 10 more minutes. I promise, I promise, I promise. Looks like I'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter. Sorry. So there is that concern, the fact that you're sort of losing your living space and there's a bit of a blurred line in terms of work and home life. But on the flip side, I kind of like that as well because working from home, especially if you're a parent, and I am not, it allows you to have some flexibility, whether it means picking up the kids or dropping off the kids or you know, being able to, you know, go to that dentist appointment or whatever. There is that flexibility in your day. However, like I said, it's harder to shut down and I really have to pay close attention to scheduling my, my shut off time. When does work end? You really have to make a, a definitive specific time for when you're going to work. What are your work hours so that the people around you can benefit as well from you working at home and those lines don't get blurred. Con. When you work in an office, you often have that camaraderie. You have the opportunity to chat with your workmates. There's water cooler chat and so forth. But these days, working from home, I end up talking to this guy. What? I told you. I told you. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen to these people. So yeah, you do get a little bit lonely, but at the same time, if you're like me, it really just depends on your personality traits. Maybe you don't even like people. Maybe you don't want to necessarily uh, talk to people. Maybe you, you prefer working by yourself. So you have to try a little bit harder if you do want that social interaction. And me, I do go to events a lot from time to time, so I do get to interact with people outside of my home office. But what I do, I also take a lot of walks. It's important for me to get outside, to be in my environment. Luckily, I have my Remy, so he forces me to get outside and take walks. And so at that time, I'm able to chat with my neighbors. Lucky for me as well, some of my best friends actually live right in my same building, in my neighborhood. So it's easy for me to still be socially active. But if that's something that you need to be creative and you thrive that ability to be social and to have water cooler chats and so forth, this may be an issue for you, but again, just something you gotta keep in mind. So overall, I really have been enjoying working from home, especially the fact that I have reduced stress levels, their tax benefits as well when it comes to working from home, you don't have to rent an office space, for example. And I love the fact that it allows me to work on my own terms and be productive when it's best for me. You know, sometimes people don't necessarily follow or can, can work well under somebody else's schedule. So you get to design your own workflow. You get to create your own schedule. And that's something that is important to me. But yes, there are some challenges in regards to shutting it down, closing that laptop, coming off that phone, schedule your work hours for sure, because you're gonna need to do that, especially if you are you know, working with your partner. And that's a whole other video, but we're gonna get to that. But overall, it's been pretty rewarding and definitely has been saving me a lot of time and a lot of money working from home. So again, hopefully you enjoy the pros and cons of working from home. As always, let me know what you're thinking in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of these kinds of videos.